Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the Over Cosmetics YouTube channel. My name is Leora and for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a New Year's Eve look using a bunch of my favorite Over Cosmetics goodies. <laughs> Okay, so this is the look I came up with. I'm gonna share with you guys step by step on how I achieved this. This is definitely a look that I would wear on New Year's Eve. I was gonna go for more of like the red bolder lip, but I'm like, you know what? There's still something really nice about wearing a beautiful nude lip with some cool toned eyes. I'm about it. So let's get started with the tutorial. So firstly, I pulled out the Boho palette. I love this one because you literally get everything. Shadows, highlighters, blushes, and a bronzer. The first shade I went in with is this beautiful light um, warm tone brown it's called country road it's such a stunning nice initial transition shade so i just built that up in the crease to the intensity that i would like um really easy to blend out i just love these kind of tones for the first shade because i feel like it helps everything else blend out like even more seamlessly then i went in with the shade brown which is this beautiful just yummy chocolatey brown on top of country road these two shades really really pair well together i absolutely love the combination but since that shade is definitely more of like a deeper color of course as you guys can see I didn't want to go ham in like right away so I built up little by little and then once I achieved the intensity I was looking for I went in with the Glitch 2000 palette which is this beautiful baby right over here and here we are getting um, beautiful metallic key satin um, eyeshadows nine of them in various different tones the shade that I'm going to go in with is a razor and this right here is a stunning gray just took a little bit of that with my finger that's my preferred way of, of using like lid shades and I tapped it on my lid built it up again with that one to the intensity that I would like and blended it in with the brown so it looks like it's more of like a transition seamless vibe going you know I really really like that color for the lower lash line I went in with the shade brown so the same shade I used to build up my intensity in my crease um, I buffed that out on the lower lash line so I did one coat and then blended it out then I did another coat to just intensify it a bit more and then I was really happy with the result. I blended out amazingly. I feel like it just ties in the look beautifully and I'm obsessed. This color is definitely one of my favorites from Ofra. All right, for my brow bone and inner corner highlight, I went in with the Nikki Tutorials Glaze Donut Highlighter. This is one of my favorites ever. Love mixing this in with other highlighters or using this on its own. So for today, yeah, I use it on its own for the inner corner and um, brow bone. Oops. It really amped up the look. I also did want to share with you guys my favorite blush from Ofra. This is from the Island Time palette. The blush is called Punch. Um, so I typically like to mix a bunch of these blushes together, but if I had to ultimately pick one blush, this right here is my favorite. It's so yummy. It's like the perfect just punchy shade you know it builds up stunningly it looks seamless on the skin and it is absolute goals let me tell you for my highlighter i just use the same one that i use on my inner corner and bra bone i feel like with one swipe you pretty much get everything you want in a highlighter with this one it doesn't emphasize texture it looks just really put together on the skin i'm obsessed with this one then for mascara i use the hd volumizing mascara of course by ofra cosmetics it's interesting because i'm really not a massive fan of like um rubber bristled wands like i prefer for natural bristled wands but the way this makes your lashes look is seriously like next level vibes you know so i just coated my upper and lower lashes with this one uh, to give me that nice voluminous dramatic ish lash effect you know after that i quickly just put on some falsies and then for lips i use one of the ofra liquid lipsticks in manila this is so such a such a such a solid shade if you're a nude lover you need this in your life so i just coated my uh full lips with this i didn't feel the need to get a lip liner because the applicator on this is just perfect i like to line out my lips with this and then fill them in uh the liquid lipsticks are so comfortable especially for being a matte mousse like texture amazing and then for gloss um you guys know i'm obsessed with clear glosses so i just use their luminous lips clear gloss i put a little bit on my finger from the applicator and then i put i just glided that on the lips that is pretty much it for today's look i really really love how this look turned out a little bit different than what I typically do but definitely such a festive like just cozy type of look you know what I'm saying I hope you guys enjoyed this video looking forward to seeing what looks you guys create with your Ofra goodies bye